everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. I just wanted to make a quick video talking about one of the most common questions that we get asked from beginner gardeners. So it is about what to start with, what to plant. So how do you know what to do after you have a garden space? So one of the biggest things that I can tell people is well, first of all, what season is it? Um, so make sure that you are going to be planting something that's appropriate for your area, um, and that is a good time frame. So make sure to check our app. And if you don't have your location logged, make sure you check um, and do that. So that way you will know exactly what you can plant. There's a filter down below that says, um, you know, can be planted, and you can filter down all the plants to what can be planted at that time. Another thing that I will ask a lot of is why are you growing? So a lot of the times people will be growing food because of a certain health condition. So um, in our app there are ways to filter down um, diff with 26 different health conditions like what plants are the best to grow for which health conditions. So say you want to grow for like heart health um, or if you have like Lyme disease or um, inflammation. I mean, I, there's so many different things in there. Um, I can't name them all, but you can filter down through health condition and it'll tell you what plants are best to grow for that um, certain health condition. So that's another way to decide what you want to grow as well. So once you filter down to what can be planted, another good question to ask yourself is, what do you like to eat? So what we started with were things that we bought from the grocery store a lot. So we bought a lot of spinach and kale, um, a lot of things like that that we used for salads. Um, so we started with growing a bunch of greens and that is where I recommend a lot of people to start with because growing greens is it's very simple in a lot of areas. It's one of the more, more simple foods, at least, to grow. And you can easily do it in a smart pot um, and in any location. Um, it's just something that will help you a lot. It'll be healthy. You'll get a really good, um, good harvest from it. So it's just something that I recommend ha having people start with because it's really good to have success the first time you start growing. Other plants that we recommend starting with are herbs. They are amazing to plant in your garden. They're really good companion plants to plant with your other plants. They help repel pests and also I mean, they taste amazing too. So you can use them to replace any dry seasonings that you use. So if you're using a lot of like Italian seasoning and in your kitchen, I'd recommend starting with a few of those herbs and trying your hand at growing them in your garden and seeing if you can grow them yourself. The really good thing about growing herbs also is that they're really easy to preserve, especially if you have a dehydrator. You can just place them in the dehydrator and dry them and then use them later in the kitchen. If you don't have a dehydrator, don't worry. You can always just chop them off and then hang them up to dry upside down and they'll, they'll be good that way too. So um, another way that we preserve them is by freezing them. So especially with things like basil, we do this a lot with. So we chop them up and then put them in ice cube trays with some olive oil. So that way, whenever we go to make a new batch of like tomato sauce, things like that, we can just put, you know, one of those ice cube trays in the bottom of the pot. And that's what we start with. So it's a really good way to add seasonings to the kitchen too. Other really fun plants to start with is doing the Three Sisters Gardening. If you haven't heard of that before, it is where you plant corn, squash, and beans together in one area. So you start by planting the corn and the squash, and then a few weeks later you follow it up with the beans. And the corn acts as a trellis for the beans, so it helps it climb up. And then the beans help benefit the other plants by taking the nitrogen and bringing it from the air and bringing it into the soil. The squash helps by vining around the ground, keeping the soil moist, keeping weeds from growing. So it's just a really good um, way of all of these plants working together. And it's super fun if you've never grown food before to experiment with something like this and grow a lot of new things. Really, it's just fun to grow anything in your garden and to experiment with anything. So, I mean, I can't tell you how many times we have messed up in the garden and grown something and it didn't work out, but you know what? It's the fun 
fun of it, just trying to do it and trying to grow. And I mean, it's, it's when it's successful that it really makes a difference and it's, it's really fun. So I just recommend doing whatever you want, just experimenting and growing whatever looks fun to you, whatever you think you might eat, whatever looks fun, whatever looks really pretty, uh, whatever you want. So just get out there and have fun gardening. If you haven't already, check out our free app from Seed to Spoon. It's available for download in the iOS and Android store. So it'll help walk you through all of these um, different foods, um, over 100 different fruits, vegetables, herbs, things like that. So if you are just getting started growing and you're looking for something to start with, check out the app. It'll help walk you through everything and how to do it. I hope you all have fun growing and have some success in your first time planting.